Now let's understand what is increase in demand. Increase in demand means where there is a change in demand, where the quantity demanded of that commodity has changed but not due to price but due to other factors, let's say change in income levels. Now we know that income levels also affect demand. As our income levels rise, demand changes that is it also rises and as our income levels fall demand changes that is it goes down likewise when the price of substitutes go up demand goes up and when the price of substitutes come down demand also comes down again when the price of complementary goods goes up the demand falls and when the price of complementary goods goes down demand goes up so there is a relation between demand and income levels or the price of substitutes or the price of complements. Now because of this reason, the demand curve is not able to move along the curve. So what happens is, it altogether shifts. It shifts to a new curve. Let's see how. Again, this is the normal demand curve. This is the quantity demanded in the market and this is the price at which this commodity is demanded. Now the demand changes because of other factors and not because of price. So we will keep the price constant and yet there will be a change in demand. Let's say demand increases to Q1. Now please note that there is no change in price, yet the quantity demanded has increased. This action will lead to the shift of curve. Now we cannot anymore move along the curve because the price is constant. This forces an outward projection of the curve and when the curve shifts outward or the right words then we call it increase in demand this is increase in demand now please note that quantity demanded has changed because of some other factor because let's say the price has increased let's say the income level has increased or the price of substitutes has gone up this leads to an increase in demand. Likewise, let's draw up an axis. This is our normal demand curve. This is the quantity demanded at this price. Now what happens is, many a times, the income levels of people fall. Let's say we are going through some recession trend, recessionary trend. What happens is during recession, the income levels of people come down. Along with the income level of people coming down, their consumption patterns also shrink. They tend to consume lesser number of commodities. So, their consumption reduces it falls to Q1 from Q but the price remains the same the price again remains the same because the change has been brought about by a change in income levels and not by the price this leads to an inward projection of the curve because we can no more be on the same curve this point this equilibrium point, our new equilibrium point is now not on the curve but inside the curve and this leads to formation of a new curve. Here we can see that the curve has moved in. That is, there is an inward movement in the curve. There is an inward movement in the curve. Or we can say that the curve has shifted leftwards or to the left side or 
towards the origin. This reduction in commodity consumed or purchased or demanded is called decrease in demand. Again, please note expansion and contraction are due to change in price. Expansion is because of fall in price. Contraction is because of rise in price. However, increase in demand and decrease in demand are not related to price but are related to other factors. The demand changes because of a change in other factors.